What's going on guys, Naeem Alabadi here. Today is a momentous moment for Bitcoin surpassing the market cap of Visa as well as BlackRock, one of the largest institutional funds announcing that for 2021 they're building a blockchain and cryptocurrency team. A lot to talk about today, but I have some very important news for those of you that are invested in any altcoins. If you guys are enjoying this content, remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Liking this video shows your support, but I want to talk about the analysis that we did yesterday as you can see from this ascending trial that we just broke out from you can see we are seeing a continuation of the upside Bitcoin breaking another all-time high above 25,000 US dollars currently our target lies right below that 29 to 28 thousand dollar range it's gonna be right around that 27 thousand five hundred dollar range and we are currently heading towards that area but at any point if we look at these three moving averages you can see we've got these moving averages if we look at the daily chart you can see this 50 day moving average is now inside of this ascending triangle that recently broke out. And if we look at where that monthly open is as well, that $19,798 area is where we broke the recent all time high. And so what we have to realize is if we start to see a pullback towards that 50 day moving average, we could see a bounce at that monthly open, which is also the breakout level of the previous all time high. And so watching where Bitcoin is headed right now, we are in a very bullish phase and we have that potential for us to start heading towards that twenty seven to twenty nine thousand dollar range based on that previous breakout and the schematics of this. But realize that that 50 day moving average is now at a prime support level where we could see a retest of this monthly open, which is also the previous all time high. And that could be a very possible scenario for Bitcoin. Now, when we look at altcoins, I want to talk about what's happening here, because when we look at others market cap, this is the market and total market market cap of altcoins you can see we're starting to see a lot of weakness when it comes to these altcoins if we were to take this ascending support level you can see we've broken this support level and it was really november of 2020 that we came and started testing the support and now you can see we're starting to see it weaken and now we're below that 100 day moving average when it comes to the others market cap in total and interestingly enough when we look at others dominance you can see the dominance has just been coming down in a prolonged bear phase since we started to see this top out in october of 2020 and interestingly enough when we look at a coin like ethereum you can see as well we've got this support level that has just broke and i want you guys to realize that if you are holding any altcoins right now, it could be dangerous because if we look at what's happening with Ethereum, it's very similar to what recently happened to Link, where we had that support level break and then we saw a major dump to the downside. And so realize that as much as a lot of these coins seem like they're oscillators, the majority of liquidity right now is flowing into Bitcoin and it is increasing its dominance. And we're really only seeing institutional interest in Bitcoin for now. But as we saw with the interview with Charles Hoskinson and his lead quant Colin, we have to assume that over the next period of time, we're going to start to see more institutions diversify into other asset classes. So realize that what's happening right now with Ethereum is very similar to what recently happened to Link, where we saw Link fall below that support level and then see a major dump to the downside. So be very careful for those of you holding altcoins. And when we look at Bitcoin's chart, I want you guys to remember we have this pocket here and that's that ascending triangle support. And we've got that 50 day moving average, as you can see right there, heading towards that monthly open. And so at any point in time, we could see this dump down to that monthly open around that nineteen thousand seven hundred and ninety eight dollar level. And in my opinion, that would be an entry level for a potential day trade long. Now, when we look at our recent trade signals, for those of you in our discord group, the link is in the description below. You can see we set out a signal for Ethereum yesterday with an entry of six hundred and twenty. I want to talk about why we sent this signal out. If we pull up the ETH USDT perpetual contract with Binance. This is the main contract that most people trade with margin. You can see here as we start to look at this chart on the four hour. A lot of you guys have asked me why was that entry 
right around that $620 level, we'll realize we have this monthly open here. And monthly opens typically act as a strong support, especially as we head towards the end of this month. There's still a about a week left. And so that monthly open will stay there for us. And then we've got this daily and weekly open. Now that weekly open is an area that will act like a magnet for Ethereum. And so once we started to form this pattern here, you can see we started to form this kind of this cup pattern. And then we saw this pull back. And at that pullback was when we sent that signal at around 620 US dollars, which is right around this mark, which eventually came up to test that weekly open. And then we saw those three targets hit with 5% profit on 3x. And so realize that having a understanding and a view of the weekly open, the monthly open and the daily open can give you an understanding of where price made magnet towards. And what I mean by that is if we have a weekly open that hasn't been retested yet, there's a high chance that price action will come to retest that weekly open the same way that will most likely come and retest a monthly open. Uh, so realize that if we look at what happened with gold, what's very interesting here, I think a lot of you guys will find this interesting is when we look at how gold broke out towards this new all time high. You can see here when gold broke its all time high and then soared past 2000 US dollars, it came down and it tested right there at that monthly open before seeing a push to the upside. And so realize that when we look at where Bitcoin's at right now, there's a high chance we come down to test that monthly open at any point. But we've yet to reach the upside target of that twenty seven to twenty nine thousand dollar level. And so once we start to reach those levels, we're going to have to look at how volume reacts. And if we start to see a high sell pressure coming in for Bitcoin, then we can then assume that there's most likely going to be some sort of retracement. And that monthly open is what I'm watching for the next potential retracement for Bitcoin. And so when we look at this chart here, let's go ahead and pull out this one hour chart. We'll go ahead and do a little bit more of a micro analysis. And for those of you guys that are just now tuning into our channel, thank you guys for all the support. Remember to like these videos if you guys appreciate this content. Now, I want to pull up this ascending triangle that recently broke out. You can see we've got this triangle here. And once we broke out of this, we saw the push to twenty five thousand. And now we're at this higher level. And so realize that for us to start to come down and test that twenty four thousand dollar level. If we're able to go ahead and hold this level, there's a high chance we'll continue up. But if this begins to break and we start to see these hourly and four hourly moving averages break, then we can assume that that monthly open will be the next target. Now, the weekly open is really going to be the last straw for me. If we watch this weekly open right around that twenty three thousand five hundred dollar level, if we start to come down below this, then there's going to be a high chance that we come down to that monthly open, which is going to be right at that nineteen thousand seven hundred and ninety eight dollar level. And that could happen in January or that can even happen before January. So just keeping that level in mind is important because that's also the level in which we broke the previous all time high. And so knowing that this was the previous all time high, there's a high chance that we're going to come and test it at some point or another, just like we saw happen with gold when it retested its previous all time high. And so understanding that the weekly open is extremely important to watch right now, because that, in my opinion, will be the indicator of whether or not we will come down to that monthly open or not. And if we're able to stay above all of these levels, then hoorah for Bitcoin will continue to see more liquidity and capital flow in and the market cap continue to increase. Now that we're above Visa's market cap, I believe this is a huge feat for Bitcoin. And for those of you that have stayed invested, keep believing, keep your Bitcoin, because at some point or another, only the rich are going to be able to have Bitcoin. And so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to like this video if you guys appreciate this content. If you haven't checked out the interview with Charles Hoskinson, the co-founder of Ethereum, the founder of Cardano, that interview was filled with a lot of golden nuggets for those of you that want to understand how to properly diversify a portfolio, especially understanding the way that institutions are investing into this market. So once again, guys, if you appreciate this content, remember to like this video and I'd love for you guys 
to leave in the comments below if you guys have any sort of coins that you want me to do technical analysis on for my next video because I'd love to look at more altcoins tomorrow on Sunday before we start to see traditional markets and precious metal markets open because once that does I will be covering those markets in this video because they are highly correlated to what happens with Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market uh, but of course during the weekend the highlight is always going to be the cryptocurrency market being that it is a 24 7 marketplace that will never close like traditional markets and I believe that's how all markets should be and interestingly enough we're starting to see with a lot of these cryptocurrency exchanges they're adding stocks that you can trade 24 7 you can actually buy the uh, which what is it the uh, coinbase IPO right now before it's even out you know in the uh, traditional markets uh, on a uh, cryptocurrency exchange I believe it's FTX that you can uh, already purchase the IPO shares uh, you know which is very interesting because you know at some point or another not only are you going to be able to do it that way but they'll also be able to fractionalize share so if you don't have you know let's say five hundred dollars to buy one tesla share uh you you know we'll find a decentralized way to purchase those tesla shares in a more uh you know fractionalized manner which is the beauty of cryptocurrencies in the blockchain so thank you guys so much for watching like this video if you enjoyed this content and i will see you guys tomorrow snipers out